Since Hogwarts Legacy came out, people have been crying out for Quidditch to be included in the game, but it never came. And it turns out it's because they were working on this standalone Quidditch game, Quidditch Champions, which just came out. Now, I loved the flying mini games in Hogwarts Legacy, and I loved the original Quidditch World Cup game on PS2 when I was a kid, so I was desperate to give this game a go. Now, since it came out, I have seen a few reviews and watched a few people play it, and my first thought is that it looks too easy. Like I always felt in the original Quidditch game that it was just too hard for the other team to get the quaffle off of you because dodging and passing just made it too easy to get away from them. And from what I've seen of this game, it's kind of the same. It just doesn't look like it's too much of a challenge. I've seen some people compare it to Rocket League, but Rocket League does have a bit of a learning curve to it. And this doesn't look like it has much of one. But maybe the people I was watching were just really good at it. Or maybe it just seems easier than it actually is. So, I figured I'd try it myself. Alright, I'm annoyed already. There's only US male and US female. Harry Potter is English! Where's UK male and female? It's the burrow! As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favourite heroes. <laughs> When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes? Well, you do, Ginny. You're the only one who goes pro. Okay, so up first we get to create a character, I think. I'm obviously going to make Voldemort. Voldemort's tall, quite gaunt looking. Maybe this one is a very pointy chin, as pale as possible. With Oh, we can't give him red eyes. I guess we'll just go black eyes. And I, w I just want no hair. If he does get hair, let's just make it really light. I want no eyebrows as well. No hair. Okay, come on, Voldemort. Take your glasses off. Can we take off your eyebrows, please? I need to be able to take off your eyebrows. This feels like what Voldemort would wear. I'm annoyed about the eyebrow situation, but apart from that, we're, we're good with Voldemort looking like this. Voldemort's going to the burrow Every to learn how to play Quidditch. Journey. Imagine Voldemort just shows up at the burrow and he's like, Hey, Weasleys, I'm done being a Dark Lord. I just want to throw the quaffle around for a little bit. Don't worry about me. Okay, so we're on to tutorials. Oh, we can fly backwards. Very talented. Practice flying through the rings. Try some adjustments. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, and that one. Oh my god, no, I don't want to invert it. Oh, that's much better. Oh, not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge. I'm sure we could find somewhere in our ranks for Neville. Hey, you know what? This is this is good. It's fairly intuitive. Oh, I missed that one. Of course I said it was intuitive and then missed a bunch. Oh, I missed. Okay, tackling is quite hard. But I, it's that sort of the point that I was worried about. Like, I felt like, is it going to be too hard to tackle people? Never mind, got it. Okay, so the tutorials are good. Uh, we're now going to... Oh, we recruit a new chaser. I guess it's going to have to be me, right? Oh, I look... I look like a pompous prick. I guess it's Voldemort, me, and Ginny against Hermione, George, and Molly. <laughs> oh, who have I passed that to? Nobody. Oh, but it's okay. I don't need to. Too easy. Oh, Molly, come back here. Oh, last minute change of target. So my first thoughts are that uh, flying is not super intuitive, particularly when you're looking at the quaffle, like the directions no longer... Left is no longer left if you're facing away from the quaffle. Um, but apart from that, I didn't get tackled once. I just I just missed a bunch of passes. That's the only time I lost the quaffle, you know. So it still feels like once I'm better and once I've got more experience flying and more practice passing and shooting, will anyone ever get the ball off me? Oh, okay, now we need a goalkeeper. Well, it's going to have to be Lucius Malfoy, isn't it? Do we think Lucius would go Legolas when playing sport? I kind of think he would. And he'll, I mean, he can wear his like Slytherin robe with a long cloak. Look at this, me, Lucius, Voldemort and Ginny Weasley. Against Molly, Ron, George, and Hermione. Match up for the ages. Come on, Voldemort. I missed it. I missed the tackle. Come on, Lucius. Huge kick out. What a pass to Ginny. Where are my teammates? I'd like to pass to you. Ron never had a chance. Oh, 
they've Perhaps just flown straight past me again. Can the chaser tie the game? That is a, that is the worst shot I've ever seen. Power shot from Ginny. Oh, from range. That's why she goes pro. It's why she goes pro. Where are you going to shoot? Where are you going to shoot, huh? There goes the shot. Easy. Here I go. I haven't had the best game. Ron there is rubbish in goal, though. Look at that. Dreadful. In. Every shot is a goal. I don't know if it's because Molly Weasley and Hermione are two of their players, but Team Weasley sucks. Okay, let's go and do some beta training. We need to make a beta. Who could be our beta? I feel like no one's better than Dolores Umbridge. Maybe this... I wonder if we can get her wearing pink. No glasses. Can she wear pink? Yes, she can. <laughs> Did you hit this guy with a bat? Oh, long range. <laughs> Umbridge would low-key love this. So now we got Umbridge, Lucius, me, Voldemort. <laughs> Ginny. Let the fun begin. Oh, I've hit someone with my bludger and it's the best feeling. Molly Weasley. Ha ha ha. Oh, what what a great beta. There goes the shot. The goes in. Oh, I didn't save it. God damn it, Molly. All right, back to the beta so we can punish Molly. Is that Molly? Oh, that was Hermione. This is Ginny Weasley, signing off. Umbridge is loving it. Apparently, the most skilled seeker Hogwarts ever saw. It's Gilderoy Lockhart. It's our only option. Is it this hair? Or is it... Do we think it's the curtains? I think it's probably the curtains, or is it this one? Ooh, it could be that. No, I think it's the curtains. Circa Leo DiCaprio, you know. I need to catch it. Catch the snitch. Come on, Gilderoy. Ravenclaw's greatest ever seeker. Oh, got to drift better. I really am snitching like, like Lockhart would. Or seeking, I suppose, is probably the word. This is a tricky golden so-and-so. Don't you career off the edge of the pitch again, like you always do. Grab it when you're ready. Oh, Gilderoy. You excellent seeker. Okay, Lucius Voldemort, Gilderoy Lockhart, me, Dolores Umbridge, and Ginny Weasley. Have a shot. Have a shot. Oh, hell yes. I can just never... I just can't... I feel like I can never get a loose quaffle. I missed. Hermione Granger scored against Lucius. That is such a power play. Anyone who tries to tackle will have me to answer for. I've missed. I don't even know where the bloody quaffle is on Gilderoy. Where's the snitch? There it is. You can beat Harry to it. Even though he's got an international standard broom, which feels like cheating. There's only room for one famous seeker on this Quidditch pitch, and it's not you, Potter. How is Harry there? Okay, he's lost the snitch, because he's blind. He's blind, he wears glasses. So we can't follow the snitch, because he's an idiot. Come on. Oh, Gilderoy Lockhart saves the day, wins the game. Oh, I caught the snitch. Voldemort, straight after a Lockhart catch. Go on, have a shot. Go on, I dare you, have a shot. There goes the shot. You know, this game is actually way more fun than I thought it would be. There's so much you can be doing. Okay, Lockhart's coming in to save the day again. The oh, a minute in. left. Oh no, they've scored. This team can't do anything unless I'm controlling them. Come on, Lockhart. Last second snitch catch. Make yourself an actual hero for a change. Harry, you get away from that snitch right now. Oh, the Gilderoy Lockhart. What a man. Bunch of Death Eaters and Gilderoy Lockhart parading around the burrow. There's Lucius. <laughs> Cheering with Ginny. Me, Lockhart, Voldemort and Umbridge. Now, 
What a sight. All right, so after the tutorials and a full match at the burrow, I have to say the game is better than I thought. Like there's lots going on. There's plenty to do if you're willing to change positions. I think they're bringing in online play down the line. Maybe it's already out. I don't know, but... I assume with that, it's kind of like Rocket League where everyone on the team is played by somebody different. And with that in mind, I'm not sure how fun online mode would be. Like, especially if you were a keeper or the seeker, like you'd spend so much of the game just standing around doing nothing, watching other people play. Like maybe there's only three people in online mode per team and you can all switch among the players between you. I'm, I'm not sure. That would probably be a better way of doing it. But I have to say, having played through the tutorial in the first game, it's definitely not just like super easy, like I first thought. In fact, I still have no idea how to pass the quaffle to another player. I mean, I did still win every single game that I played, but we were playing against a team with Molly Weasley. So what do you expect? Anyway, it was fun. It was. I don't think I'll play it loads. It's the kind of game that I imagine I'll jump into for a few games every now and then. But mostly, I just enjoyed creating Voldemort and Umbridge and Lucius, which makes me think maybe I would just prefer playing The Sims.